Ugh. Oh, great. More bird droppings. Ugh. I'll get the newspaper. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the unique toys, Hagen! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here, you have a nice piece of artwork there of Hagen, of course, he's part of Ordern, the most powerful witchcraft masters in the universe and things and stuff, and that sounds pretty cool. Cool. On this side of the box, we have a picture of the alt mode. On the other side of the box, a picture of the alt mode. On the top, that same piece of artwork. On the bottom, just warning! Don't try to eat this toy or that will end very badly for you. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. He does this, that, the other. All that cool stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. And of course, included in the packaging is the obligatory third party collector's card with that same piece of artwork. And his text specs right there, if that interests you. And that's it for that. So, moving right along, here we have Hagen, or Hagen. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't want to say Hagen, because then I automatically want to follow it up with Doss, and I don't want to call him Hagen Doss, because if I start calling him Hagen Doss, then I'm not going to stop, even though that is delicious. But anyway, here he is. He is the final component of Unique Toys Orden, and he is their homage to the Terracon uh, Cutthroats. And, uh, yeah, very cool. So here he is in his beast mode. And, uh, very nicely done. Uh, based off of the, uh, the, uh, Ripper Snapper mold. Um, so they have a lot of similarities in the transformation and whatnot. But still, uh, very nicely done. Very, very cool. Getting closer on the head. Nice detail on the head. You got some nice deep purple there in the eye. Very cool. You get some green there in the neck. And some nice molded details. A little bit of silver right up there on the forehead. Uh, the wings are very cool. Very nicely done. Really dig it. I love that deep purple that they're using. Very cool. And you get some purple right here on his back. It's kind of break things up. A little bit of silver. You got his tail right there. Tail feathers with some green. You get some silver here on his claws. Yeah, a little bit of green to break things up here. A little bit of purple down here. But yeah, very, very cool. I dig it. I dig it very much. Um, Articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you can get some good... A good movement there. You can get, you know, you can get some, get a little bit of rotation. Get about that much rotation out of it. It's pretty cool. A little bit of, you know, if you have the head pointed straight forward, you don't, you don't really get any side to side movement. But when you have it face down, you do get some nice rotation there. Good range of movements. Uh, the wings can swivel at this point right here. The wings can completely come off. They're just on a, just a peg and post, uh, a peg and port connection right there. So you have rotation here. We also have a hinge right here. You have a double hinge right here. So, you get, so it gives you full range of movement there. You also have a hinge right here. So you can spread those wings out like that, which is pretty cool. And the little bird claws here are just on a, on a swivel hinge right there. See, it's just on, a, just on a little mushroom peg right there. So you get a little bit of swivelage right there. Uh, the rear legs can... Do a full 360, yeah, full rotation. They have outward movements. You have that double jointed knee right there. If you move this out of the way, you can get you know full range of movement out of it. See some little little ratchet joint there, and his little bird feet. You know they can pivot up and down, and that's pretty much it. You can move this little back claw. That's more for transformation than anything, but there you go. And you kind of get him just sitting there. You know, bring his wings in close to his body. So have him sitting there like he's perched. Like he's waiting to pounce on something. And oh yeah, of course the mouth can uh, can open and close. So there you go. So you just have him kind of perched there, ready to strike. So that's pretty cool. I like it. I, I think it looks good. So there we have that. And for comparison, we will just bring in his buddies here and just get the final group shots. And we've all been waiting for. So there we have Cutthroats. Here we have Ripper Snapper. Here we have uh, Sinner Twin. Here we have Hunger. I'm going to have to move these guys back a little bit more because I'm running out of room on the table. Let's go over. And here we have Blots. 
And there we finally have our team of Terracons together. Yay! Very, very cool. <laughs> like I said, th these guys are one of my favorite combiner teams, so this is very cool to have an awesome-looking updated set of these guys. Really, really dig it. So there we go. Let's get these guys out of the way. Right there, right there, and right there. And again, since we have a Ripper Snapper here, you can kind of see. Obviously, since they both turn into arms, you know, there are a lot of similarities in uh, in in the design. I mean, there's a lot of remolding here, like, you know. But um, still, the basic skeleton of the two toys are the same. So, there you have that. Hey, what'd you droop on me, man? What'd you droop? They have that. And, of course, one more comparison is here with his G1 self. There you go. Because it's precious. Oh, so precious. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that does look like a baby when it's Papa right there. That's just, that's beautiful. And beautiful. Like he's going to be like, tip, 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 feed me. Tip, 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 tip. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to stop. <laughs> oh, man. Again, over 120,000 subscribers. I don't get it either. I, I really don't. I really, I really don't. But anyway, there he is. <laughs> All insanity aside. That's a lie. But anyway, here he is. And uh, so now we'll just get down to transformation and we'll turn him into his arm mode. So to do that, you're just going to take his tail right here and unpeg it. So you see, it just pegs into those two points right there, just like on a ripper snapper. So just bring this up on this armature. You're going to take this whole section right here and raise it up like that. Make sure it's all the way up. And then you can just take this and collapse it up like that. And once you've done that, you're going to untab these sections here and then swing it around and then bring it up and that will clip in right in there so take it push it all the way up push it in did it clip no. there we go make sure you hear that nice snap right there do the same thing over here just untab it bring it up here and get that right up in there oops got a little bit of like a little bit of weird mold flash going on here. Huh. Can't pull it off. There. there we go. Ah, there we go. That was weird. I didn't even notice that until now. There we go. So just bring that in. Make sure that snaps. No, I don't get the snap of approval. Give me my snap of approval. I don't think it did snap. Did it snap? No. There we go. There's the snap of approval. Thank you. Thank you. Now you just take the legs and you're just going to... Fold them up into the body like that. You just want to flip this back claw up. And basically, have it like that. Do that over here. Just collapse the light in like that. And then take the wings. The instructions tell you to just take the wings and uh, fold them up and angle them back. Like this. I mean, you can do whatever you want with the wings. I've seen people, you can, you can unplug the wings too if you wish. And... Um, they can plug into these back ports right here, so if you want that, you can do it. Um, totally up to you. You have options as far as, you know, what you do with the wings. But there you have that. Then you're just going to split the legs and bring in the other hand of Orden. This is the right hand of Orden. And it's, you know, exactly like the one that came with Ripper Snapper, um, except it's a right hand other than a left hand. And, uh, yeah, that same amount of detail. You get a little bit of paint on it. Same amount of posability. You got the ball joint at the base. You got a hinge here. You got a ball joint hinge hinge. So nice and fully posable hand. And you're just going to take these two tabs right here, and they will go into the two slots right there. So just tab that in. Close that all up. And then you just extend the body like that to reveal that elbow joint. And you just bring that around. And of course you bring down the uh, the combiner port right here, which again, as usual, is very, very tight. So I'm not going to waste time trying to muscle that down. But obviously you want to bring that down. But um, there you go. There you have Hagen 
in his arm mode. So there you go. And again, I, I just love that dedicated piece of transformation that gives the combined mode arm a, uh, a proper elbow joint. I really, really like that. And again, you have a nice, it's a nice ratcheted joint here. It's like a soft ratchet. Then you have your rotation, you have wrist swivels and all that. We'll get into the full range of articulation for the combined mode when we do the video for the combined mode, so. There we go, but there you go. That's a good looking arm. That's a nice arm right there. That's a nice arm. I like it. I like it very much. Yes, I do. A. All right. So moving on to robot mode. We'll just take this and unplug the hand, put that off to the side, rotate this back to its original position, and push this back up into the body. Push that back up into the body, right there. And keep those legs split. You want to open up this front panel right here. And the legs will just come down on a double hinge. Spring that up, and then this tab will plug in to that slot right there. Spring that up. Lock that in place. And you're just going to flip out his foot. Come back here, flip down a little heel spur. And there you got that. Second verse, same as the first. Open that up. Bring the leg down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Going down to Chinatown. Flip that up. Flip down the heel spur. And there you got the legs all done. Now the arms, you just want to take this panel and bring it down. Rotate this around. Open that up and flip out the hand. Which is usually very not easy uh, to get out. There we go. Close that up, and there you go. Second verse, same as the first. Bring that down, bring that around. Open it up, flip out the hand. Flip out the hand. Flip out the hand. Flip out the hand. Flip it. Flip out the hand. Flip out the hand. Flip out the hand. Flip out the hand. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so once you have that done, uh, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, <laughs> you're going to just take the head right there and untab it. See there are two, there are two tabs right here on the sides. They just go into those slots here, right here on either side. And you just take that, bring the head down. There's a tab right here that plugs into the bottom of the beak. It doesn't really work that well. It doesn't really secure the head that securely. Doesn't secure the head that securely. Sure, that's a sentence. It makes sense still. But yeah, it just seems like as much as I push that down, it doesn't really stay in all that well. That's well, okay. Then you take this part of the bird head and just flip that down. Oops. Like that. Oops. Just get one on there. Or did I just break it? I don't know. I'll just flip it down. Wait a second. Give me a second. Yeah, uh, turns out I did just break this piece off. That sucks. It just kind of like, you can see the, I don't know if you can. It just kind of, the, the pegs just kind of sheared off when I pushed this down and this just kind of just broke right off. I'm going to try to fix that. And if I can't fix it, then I'll just get a replacement. But no, well, that sucks. But anyway, what you wanted to do, if this actually stayed in one piece, is just push that down like that. That's what you're supposed to do with it. <laughs> And after you've done that, you take this piece right here and just flip that down against the back. And there he is in robot mode. A nice looking robot mode. And of course, the wings, you can do whatever you want. You have all those hinges to work with, so you can orient them however you wish. This is the way I like to do it. Just kind of tuck them all up in there. So there you go. Very, very cool. Getting close here on the head sculpt. So you can see. Very nice head sculpt, nice silver paint there, nice red eyes. Very, very cool. There you have that. And all around, again, a very, very nice design. Hey. Very nice design. You get some little silver bits right here that reveal themselves. Very cool. I like the details here in the forearms that are picked out in paint. I think that looks really nice. Yeah. So overall, very nice design. You get some detail in the inner parts of the legs also. They're picked out in paint. Very cool. Very, very cool. So you have that. Articulation-wise, his head is on a ball joint, but there's not a whole lot of range of movement. He can look up. He can totally look straight up. Um, but there's not a lot of wiggle-waggle room. Obviously, you get rotation. 
Uh, the arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out. You do get a bicep swivel. You get double jointed elbows. You get full range of movement there. Uh, nothing up the wrists. Uh, you do get a waist swivel. Legs can go forward. They can go back. They can go in and out. You get a thigh swivel. 90, 90 degrees of knee bend there. And you have ankle tiltage, breakage levels of tiltage. And he could wiggle his toe up and down as well as that heel spur. So, there you go. Pretty poseable. And again, the wings, you have a lot of joints to work with, so you can angle those and display them however you wish. So there you have that. Now for comparison, here he is with drag strips. You can see how he scales with a Combiner Wars Deluxe. There he is with drag strip. Here he is with Voyager Prime. You can see about a head shorter than Voyager Prime. Here he is with Leader Megs. So you can see how he scales with the Leader. So there you have that. And now let's bring in the whole team and get a group shot finally. Finally! I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Let's bring in all the boys here. Bring in Hunger. And there we go. There we have our not Terracons in all their glory. Yeah. They look good. They look good. That's a good looking team right there. Very, very cool. I dig it. I dig it the most. So there you go. There you go. There you go, and there you go. And, of course, here he is with his G1 self, because it's precious. Throat-cutting precious. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... But, uh, yeah, Hagen, Hagen, whatever you want to call him. Um, very cool figure. Um, it sucks that this piece broke again. I'm, I'm going to try to fix this myself, and if I can't fix it, then I'll just get a replacement, but, yeah. The first thing that's broken on me in one of these stories, it's, it's unfortunate, but, hey. It happens, it happens. It's alright. Either way, it will be rectified, so, not a humongous issue. Um, but, still, very cool figure. I dig it. And in the next video, we're going to take all these guys, and we're going to make us an Abominus. So stay tuned for a lot. So if you would like this figure or any of Unique Toys offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below. And if you missed any of these reviews, you can check out the Orden playlist, also linked in the description down below. So check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the unique toys, Hagen, and there, that, there, what, what, here, huh, who? The brain just stopped working. Let me try it again. There is the Unique Toys Hagen, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing, and but your brain does start to go when you grow old, apparently. Biggie, be proud. Bomb in your face. Hey, Wave. No new beast today? Well, yes, yes, actually, I, uh... I created a flying beast this time. Uh, where is it? Mm, I don't know. It's it's somewhere. You know, sometimes I wish you spent your time doing something other than creating these random beasts. I mean, come on. <whistles> what was that? <laughs> what the? Ah! Oh yes, I forgot to mention. Um, it kind of sees me as a mother, so it's very protective. Bye! Yes, yes it is.